It's time for baseball on MLB Ladies Network. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Robbie Ray will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Robbie Ray is quietly developing into one of the top left-handed pitchers in the game of baseball. Unfortunately, he gets lost in the shadow because of guys like Clayton Kershaw and Rich Hill. Big arm from Robbie Ray. Not a real big guy, but 95 to 97. Good hard slider. His changeup has gotten better, and you'll know if he's on early because you'll see a lots of swings and misses. This guy can rack up the strikeouts. The 1-1 home. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. In now, Miguel Rojas. And he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. VR gets his lead at first, nobody out. Lifted down the line in left. And no one will track it down. Throw over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. He's going, he's the going. 2 2. Runners off for second. Pulled high in the air out to left field. After it is Peralta. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Batting third. The left fielder, number 23, Corey. Dickerson. Stepping into the box, Corey Dickerson comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Runner, runner, 1 runner. 1. And there he goes towards second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early, and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. Vargas is there. Two gone. So a runner in scoring position base. with two men gone. Jesus. And up next will be the power hitting first baseman, Big Jesus Aguilar. Ready with the one two. Now this one's hit hard to left field by Aguilar and deep. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So a two-run shot to left center. Home run number nine on the year. And the Marlins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Stepping in now, Jorge Alfaro. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know, d roll Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. But two in the inning for the Marlins, thanks to the two-run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 2 nothing Miami.
Jose Arena, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Here's Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And there's a base hit on the line. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of the middle down in the zone, yeah. D-Row, and he's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. Into the box now, Nick Ahmed. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. These Marlins, as they take the field this afternoon, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Maddie, we've seen some good baseball in the first two games that is set, and expect another close one here. Both of the first two games decided by one run. You know, Dero, when you get in these series like this, when one run means so much, you like to be able to be the team to score first. But both these games have been very close, and it's going to boil down to who gets the big hits that in the third. seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. The fielder. Now. now to the plate, Cattell Marte. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. fouled away and he looks at one that misses and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall batting four no left fielder digging in David Peralta two hits and eight tries for the series He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. One. A runner on first with two away. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The runner from first crosses the plate. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. So now to the plate, Eduardo Escobar. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Here comes the one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two and two. Boy, and he rips this ball down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Bullet back up the middle. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. When it left the bat, I thought the outfielder had a beat on it. Gave it a heck of an effort going high for it, but he just can't bring it down. 
The run came across the score, and he's safely at second, hoping his teammates can return the favor. Into the box, Christian Walker. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. A ball and two strikes now. Urena has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Popped into the air, back behind second. And VR will look this one in to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go on to the top of inning number two, and we are tied 2-2. Ready now, Harold Ramirez. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting seven, the third baseman, Brian Anderson. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Now here's the pitch. There's a drive out to left center field. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Into the box, Monte Harrison. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal the series right here. Lifted down the line and left. Peralta on the move. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. At the plate now, Jose Arena. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More to come on MLB Network Sunday Baseball after this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Stephen Vogt. The one two.
had to count two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Ramirez is there and he has it for the out. Batting it. The second baseman. Hilton Harrow. Vargas. Digging in the switch hitter, Hildemaro Vargas. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now a slider well off the plate. An easy take there. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good. And that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. The 2-1 home. Nope. That's inside. One out, nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat, it'll be the pitcher, Robbie Ray. The 1-1. Slow grounder to first. Fielded cleanly. Onto the bag with it is Aguilar, and that'll retire the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We played two full, and we are tied 2-2. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the switch-hitting second baseman, Jonathan Villar. The 1-1. Popped up. Vogt has a play. He's got it one away. Next for the Marlins. Digging in for his second at bat, Miguel Rojas. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hey, there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full 3 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. Now batting, Jesus Aguilar. Man at first after the two-out walk. A 1-1. Is looked at for ball number two. Man at first with two out in a 2 2 ball game. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Too high. Ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And now they've got him in a rundown. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied 2-2. Welcome back. As the Diamondbacks look to get the offense going here in the third, this is the lineup that has had its struggles this season. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. 
And when Coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. All right, thanks, Heidi. Hit hard towards center, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So it's a good start to the inning for the Diamondbacks. Lead-off hitters aboard. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. At the plate, Nick Ahmed. Two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Now a throw over, just keeping him close. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. A runner at first with no outs here. Popped up, back behind second. VR is there for it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now back, better fielder. Settling in now, Cattell Marte. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Runners on the move for second. A pitch out. The throw. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. The 2 1. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Hit on the ground is short. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Diamondbacks down without much of a fight. We're through three, tied to a piece. And back in Phoenix as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Oh, Down low, two balls and a strike. Three and one. Well, that's ball three, and the Marlins right now would do anything to get a leadoff walk to get this inning started. The 3-1. Popped him up. Escobar shading to his right. One down. Now batter. At the plate, Jorge, Jorge Alfaro looking to Alfaro. put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. One out, nobody on. No contact there, and it's one and two. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting his showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. And 
And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Marte is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. The batter. Coming to the plate now, Harold Ramirez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. There's ball four. Man, you hate to give up a two out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here and good luck trying to stop him. At the plate, Brian Anderson. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And he'll be back in standing up. The one two. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Miami. On to the bottom of the fourth. This game's tied at 2 2. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lavello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now at the plate, David Peralta. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Ready to deliver the one and two. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. It'll be a leadoff single. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. In now, Eduardo Escobar. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Christian Walker is on deck. Nobody out, runner on first. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. that was so here it is again accompanied by show track great exit velocity and the projected distance comes back at over 470 feet an impressive thing to watch when it happened and even more impressive to quantify with the numbers
to the plate now Christian Walker back up the middle that's through for a base hit and he's one for two now. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. So now to the plate, Stephen Vogt popped him up. Aguilar is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. The batter number so 15. digging in now to Demaro Vargas. One and one, here it comes. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Now the 2-1. Runner goes for second. Bounce towards the second baseman. Scooped up, and there's out number two. Now back. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Robbie Ray. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now a long throw home. And he's going to get in there at the plate to make it a 5 to 2 lead now. Boy, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You're facing the opposing pitcher, and you give up a two-out RBI. I got to believe he's contemplating retirement. A two-out knock given up to the opposing pitcher. Listen, as a pitcher, you hate to give up base hits, but you doubly hate to give up base hits to the opposing pitcher. Into the box, Starling Marte. Outside, two and one. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Now the 2-1 pitch. Down to 3-1. You look in the dugout, you can tell that manager's getting ready to come out on that top step. If he doesn't get out of this situation right here, and it's a tough one, I think the bullpen comes in. Three runs already home here. And a three and two full count to Starling Marte. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nick Ahmed. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning, Matt. A hit here could really fire up that dugout. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. On the ground to third. He's got it. Throw on to first and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We played four. It's now 5-2 Arizona. So that'll bring in Monty Harrison next. Here's the one and one pitch. Two and one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Now the 2 1. Aye. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both a lefty and a righty up to throw.
Here now the 2-2. Two -two. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. 3-2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The next 3-2. Line to the right side and a base hit so early trouble to lead off the inning boy so frustrating as a pitcher you make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there try to bust him in D row and he fights it off the other way yeah you tip your hat to the pitcher right there he executed his pitch but nice job by the offensive player fight it doesn't matter what it looks like a knocks a knock Garrett Cooper will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here Cooper. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. He's fallen behind now, three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Now that's popped up. Vogue over to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan VR. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matt, he's got to lower his sights a little bit right now. We talk a lot about this, the elevated heater. We're seeing it so much in today's game. He's got to find a way to make this pitcher work down in the zone just a little bit more. So he got him swinging. Jonathan VR goes down for out number two in the top half. Blake now, Miguel Rojas, up high, two and one now. He's ready, now the pitch. Sky down the left field line. Peralta on the move. Into the corner, he makes the catch to end the inning. Marlins leave one, they trail 5-2. Josh Rader, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number nine, Josh Rader. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and coming forward is the switch-hitting outfielder, Cattell Marte. It's fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. He pulls this one into right, but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the now first that, out. No left fielder, David Peralta. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. We're in the fifth inning here. 5-2 is our score. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. The third baseman, number five. Eduardo Escobar standing in. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. take a look at a strike on the inside corner it's one and two 
Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Three balls and two strikes to Eduardo Escobar. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Popped him up. Anderson is under it. And that ends the inning. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. And it remains five to two. Merrill Kelly takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 29, Merrill Kelly. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Corey Dickerson. The 1-1. One, one. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. There to haul it in is Escobar, and that's the first down. Now that is. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. 5-2 is our score here in inning number six. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Digging in once again, Jorge Alfaro. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three go the Marlins, and the deficit remains five to two. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Christian Walker. The 1-1. One, one. Drilled on the ground is short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Digging in, Stephen Vogt. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. <laughs> He's set, and the 2 1 pitch lifted the other way to left center. Harrison moving back on it. He can't make the play as it hops over the wall, and that's a break for the defense as it's going to keep the runner from first from scoring. Hey, it's hard to say if he would have scored if the ball hadn't hopped over the wall. They might have held the runner at third because there were no outs, but who knows? Either way, they'll still wind up with a runner at second and third and still no outs after the ground rule double. At the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Chopped toward the second baseman. 
Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. Brings home the run with a ground ball, but also moves the other guy over to third base. Good job of keeping it simple there. Domingo Leyva will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Domingo Leyva. One out and a runner on third. One and two now as that one's fouled off. He's ready. Now the pitch. To yep, two balls and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Hit out towards second. He's right there. And there are two away now. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And that'll bring up Starling Marte. Now the one and one pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Lifted into the air out towards center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Another good inning for the Diamondbacks. It's not just the air conditioning that has these folks fired up. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Juan Lopez Jordan is into the ball game now as he'll make now his fifth appearance the of the season here. Number 50. Stepping into the box, Harold Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. He's got to hurry. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number 7. Now that. So striding forward now, Brian Anderson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Stepping up to the plate, Monte Harrison. He's one for two in this one. Two out, nobody on. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two two pitch there, but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter fouled away the three two one more time 
Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Now a ball hit high and fairly deep down the left field line. This ball has a chance and gone for a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left number 10 for him on the year as it's now a 7 3 game. Yeah and you could see he just made a mistake he was cruising in the seventh getting the first two outs but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. John Birdie will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number five, John Birdie. The bouncer to the left side. Going to be a tough play. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Marlins get one back thanks to the solo home run. Get up and stretch. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Marlins three. Sterling Sharp gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Sterling Sharp. Last half of the seventh here and stepping in is the veteran shortstop Nick Ahmed. The one one home. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The one two. Line hard toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And that's hitting one on one right there guys the only way you're able to execute that type of base hit on that type of pitch is to recognize it early stay tall stay back and trust the process in now Patel Marte and it's two balls and two strikes now. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Hard on the ground toward short, and there's his first base hit in this one. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there, below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. Standing in now, David Peralta. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. None out, runners at first and second. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. He's under it and makes the catch standing inside the visitor's bullpen. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Had a long way to go to make that running catch. And here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it. Showed nice closing speed. And ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. Eduardo Escobar will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a liner into right center. That's going to be a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's an 8-3 to three ball game. You know, D-Row, you know you've been a pretty productive player. You can look, collect 500 runs batted in in your career. That With that base hit right there, 
that's RBI number 500. Yeah, it's a testament not only to this guy's talent, but his work ethic. The ability to stay healthy, stay on the field, and be productive. 500 RBIs is a lot of runs better than Dive, but it's off his glove, and the run should score. And he's in there safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. The catcher, Ethan. Brandon Kinsler comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Number 20, Brandon Kinsler. To the plate now, Stephen Vogt. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Kinsler has over 40 innings on his line so far. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number, over 1.5. So he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base paths, unfortunately. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The 1 2. All two. First and second now, one man out. Sinker, three and two now. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Fielded cleanly, and an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Now in the box, Ildemaro Vargas, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Yeah, he's not quite as powerful on the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones, who had pop from both sides. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. D-backs out in front, nine to three. Ready to begin the eighth, and the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Fouled off. The 2-2. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do Good is get on base and take advantage Yo. of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. So now to the plate, Miguel Rojas. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looped out toward third. And that's the second out. Standing in, Corey Dickerson. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Lifted down the line and left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Marte will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Miami down in order, still way back. It's nine to three. Jim LaCastro is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. 
Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. At the plate now, Starling Marte. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Lifetime against Brandon Kinsler. He's just two for 12. Now a move over to first, and he'll get back in standing. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Hit to third. Over to VR. To Aguilar for the double play. The batter number 13. Good stop. Nick. So base is empty now after the double play. And stepping up is the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three balls and a strike to count to the Diamondback shortstop. Cattell Marte would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The 3 1. Sinker misses ball four. The center fielder, number four. Cattell. Digging in and looking for more. Cattell Marte. He's working on a one for three thus far. Two out with the man at first. Breaks as bad as this ball's lifted into the air. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. One left for Arizona, but they lead it by a margin of 9-3. to three. Kevin Ginkle comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 37, Kevin. All set to start the ninth in this one and set to go is the veteran first baseman Jesus Aguilar. The 1-1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Made him look silly with that one. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Skied into straightaway right. Marte is under it. One down. Now back. Captain. Jorge. Alfaro. Standing in, Jorge Alfaro, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. This is hit high and deep out to left. Peralta going back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. That's what good hitters do. You get a pitch you like, and you just explode on it. He blasted that one over the left fielder's head for an easy double.
Into the box now. Harold Ramirez. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Into the box now. Brian Anderson. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb. But hey, they string a couple of hits together here. And all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Line drive to center field. Marte is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Now batting, the center fielder. Marlins Monte. down to their final out now. Harrison. And that'll bring Monte Harrison up to the plate. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Miami down to their last strike. High and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about. And they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. 9-3 to three, the final tally here in this one. The Arizona Diamondbacks took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Robbie Ray earns his eighth victory of the season. Jose Arena was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondback. Nine runs on 15 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Marlins, three runs, six hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.